Uh, Chris was just Chris. He was one of us. And then he started being Blood Fist here, and we all loved it. And then he started being Blood Fist everywhere. Oh yeah, Blood Fist? The guy who barks at all the stray dogs? Well, he's definitely eccentric, and the blood on his hand, um, you know, that's startling. The guy's like walking around with like a sword. He's got like war paint all over his face, and you know, he's kind of getting into like these like fisticuffs around the neighborhood. So at first you kind of worry about a guy like that, but we love him. He's awesome. Um, he hardly plays role-playing games anymore. Um, it kind of sucks because he doesn't have time for the fantasy world. He has real responsibilities. He's got the charities, the soup kitchen, the monster hunt. But he's doing good out there. Chaotic good, but good. Blood Fist is crushing it. I mean, best decision he's ever made. I mean, look at that thing go. Blood Fist is a blessing to this community. Good deeds throughout town, or feats, as he calls them. Local economy's booming. Uh, he keeps paying with these little bags of gold, jewels, rupees, even. I'm not sure where he finds all that loot. I think he's really passionate about the community and uh, has been a really good friend and um, just try to do my part and help him out and uh, make sure he's understood. I kind of feel like he's a little bit misunderstood. He's the type of guy who will give you the cloak off his back and his shirt and whatever these things are and some stuff you didn't ask for. Bloodfist is on a quest to break a spell, to save a princess and slay a goblin. Gulen. It's a silent B. Uh, he, he truly believes that um, Patrick is a goblin. Do you, see the, do you see the misunderstanding now? And it's just a, by an unfortunate occurrence that I married. Well, that's not. A goblin to him. Not unfortunate. Oh, not for me. <laughs> okay. No. I, uh, I finished my doctorate work in 2008. And uh, right away, I just stepped on in with my father's practice. Ah! 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 Is, is that you, Peterson? Enough is enough! Cut the crap! Is that, is that a skull? Where do you get these things? Is this fresh? Um, he thinks that I have been put under some hex or, or spell. I'm not quite sure what the correct term is for it. This is our home. And he just comes here and tries to steal my wife. A man hunts me with an ax and a sword. A hunt is a bit of a strong word. Um, yeah, I agree. It is a strong word. It's an appropriately strong word. Well, I have to help him a lot with some of these legal issues with Mr. Gulen and um, kind of help him understand that ignoring things doesn't necessarily make them go away. What is this ward of protection? This is a restraining order. So this says you can't be within 500 feet of Lydia. I see. Mm -hmm. And how do we break? this restraining order. You don't. That makes Bloodfish sad. And I know everyone in town just loves, loves the Bloodfish. Bloodfist. Fist. I will never call him that. Show Ever. yourself, fiend! You're kidding me. Uh, right uh, now. This is unreal. This is happening right now. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it's happening right yeah. now. You know, I'm glad you guys are here right now. Come with me. No, let's no, give, no, 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 no. Let's, let's give Bloodman the, the goblin that he deserves. Let's give him the, the goblin. Maybe we should. Team. We should. Have an no, no, no. And, no, 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 no. Please. No, 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 no. Please, no. Stop. 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 We have. Think of our neighbors. We have neighbors. We have. Think of your patients. Think of your practice. No. No. Enough is enough. Look, Dumbledore. Enough. This has gone on for long enough. Go inside. I'll tell you what, Peterson. I'm gonna go into our castle. 
Go inside. Stop, 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 stop. You have to stop this. You have to stop. Just please put that away. It's freaking me out. That's fine too. You cannot keep coming here and thinking that you're going to save me. I don't need saving from a, a castle. I am choosing to be here, just like I chose to be with you. And then I chose to not be with you. These are, these are fake. These are not real. This whole thing is not real. Yeah, cool. I'm calling the cops. No, you know what? I it's handled. Oh my gosh. Blood fist. Oh thank God. Blood fist. Halt, please. Look, look. Listen to me. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. The lady Lydia has called me to tell you that that she's fine. That you did it. She she's okay. This is her choice because because look, she can protect herself now because of you, because of what you taught her. You did it. What if you did it? She's safe, right? You're safe. I'm okay. safe. She's safe. But, but someone else out there might need your help. Okay. Okay, 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 let's go. Oh, Bloodfist is going to try again tomorrow. Bloodfist has learned nothing. Yeah, um, you keep... That's not his name, right? That's that's not his name. His his name is, is, is Christian Peterson. I mean, this, we keep using this baby name. I, can't we be grown-ups about this? <laughs> I mean, really. Not anymore. I mean, he legally changed it, so legally he's... Mm. He goes by a different name now. I legally don't have to call him that. I, I legally will not be calling him that. I think so. I think so. I think it goes along with legally changing your name. It's like legally changing your gender. And, and that's what Lydia believes. So the dude busts into my office, drops the fattest I have ever seen, and I just gave him the account. Oh! Hey, dude. You wanna go to Arby's? I'll let you eat all the meat off of my sandwich again. 